It's fair. Ooh. Drop shots the fastest player on two two are just about. Which points towards a bit of a confident Another feel team. out there. It's there and we look at it and we have some fun. We've already seen two major upsets on the women's side with that was a poor smash, wasn't it? Wow. Oh, great shot. Sort of sit there and wait, so it exposes the forehand wing and it leaves you a lot of space. This is really well done after the smash. I'm sure there was a slight hesitation after the smash. That was getting his partner on the move. Ishioka's strengths is actually from there, that moving out to that backhand side, flicking it back into the forehand of his opponent. Gets it there quick. Breaks him. It's a good serve. Second serve from Ishioka, but well handled. Well done. Going to that forehand side that time. Get there first. Early doors. Yeah, he's rattled. He's, he's not settled emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's got Big full control. Open, and it's an unusual forehand. And when he's set, he can just absolutely belt it. Man. Yeah, good depth too, Adam. That's the... Beauty, the first ball had good depth, and you can see, look at where this shake. And at the other end, Kachanov has completely settled into rhythm. First of all, he's not worried on serve because every ball gets back into play. You're in every point. Oh. Hatchinov turns up and he opens a proceeding in the second. <laughs> and that's 125. Hatching off Bakery is Hatching open off. for business on Six John Kane Arena. What a perfect start for the 18th seed. And Nishioka testing a little bit of patience. 15 up. Timo Jansen. Yeah. Two in a row, hatching off to hold serve at the start of the second set. Yeah, second set. And you've got to play up the other end, he's just feeding off it, loves it. It's almost like he's... Oh. And the problem is, you can't get out, you get, get out of this because every serve it starts a rally. No. As we're seeing, he's getting strangled by the big man. Oh, there's just no mercy at the moment from Hatchinoff. Another break. How he addresses things here. 15 up. That's a smart serve. That serve all day on that first court. Oh. Even a great 
that serve goes, and the racket is officially for the bin. Annoy you anyway, so. Hatching off, giving him. Strangling his opponent here. Fortuna. Oh, this is relentless. It's like watch, watching one of those. They didn't go so well at the end. They turned it around. Oh, again. Yeah. Too good. Hatching off. <laughs> 11 in a row. An extraordinary set of tennis for both men comes to an end. Hatchinoff just did not miss Nishioka. Won two points in an entire set of tennis in a fourth round match at a Grand Slam. Oh, he went after it. I like it. At least he went after it. Gee, that was a big ball. Great return. Oh, did catch it oh, my goodness, the coverage there from Hatchinoff. Oh. 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 Cops the time violation as well after the uh, nice little moment between. He's level really high. And he's won his 14th game out of 14s in 14 in this match so far. He served that ball well. His aces on that side. Like he wins the tournament if he wins the game here. Yes! Yes! Break point chance. Thank you. Does he go big out wide? It's not the greatest moment of his tennis career, but it's the most relieving. was tennis, Grand Slam tennis at its best at that point. Two games yeah, on. especially to finish as well, to take that in the, uh, out of the air and got to be happy. Now he's feeling a lot better. Nice work. Fifteen up. The arm and the mind is a lot freer, thankfully.
a golf. It'd either be the time restraint because there'd be a there'd be a clock on it. But it's very hard to claw yourself back. Ten. Gets it to three all, third set. Fifteen. Oh, counter punches the power beautifully there, Nishioka. Fifteen. Really well hit backhand, but Nishioka is quick enough. First step. Get something on it. But you've got to be extremely tight with your game. 30 15. First ace of the match. And where was the attitude as well, where it was. This is a positive. Yeah. Well played in rhythm. Yes, you know, That's no, a good solid point, is it? There's a bit of pressure on there hmm. from Nishioka to stay involved in this. That's not. So far, no first serves in. Got one. That's what he's looking for. Oh, I guess right. <laughs> he's nearly got yes. a record on that last one. He did do a good job, didn't he? More balls in play at the moment. There he goes. I wish I just had a, a couple more inches. I might have just got this one here. Oh, clever. Clever from Hatchinoff. Forced Nishioka to become wrong footed. Thank you. Big man. He's got a little bit of feel as well. Well played. Good effort. Yep. Good point. This is the level of tennis we expected coming into this fourth round encounter. Hands on. Could could he? Yeah, he could. He could definitely he could definitely take a set. Could no. he come back and win three? The match. I'm talking.
Yeah, well, you're in it. Once you're in it, if you get until you shake hands, you're always a bit of a chance. Yeah. Your elite athletes tend to have one common characteristic. Oh, finally. <laughs> that is so good from both. Look at the look at the court coverage here from both players. And that lob was a brilliant lob to get that out in there defensively. And Hatchinov does well here to come back in and trust his volleys. This one here. And he looks up and says... <laughs> Give me something. something. Using the pace brilliantly. And he was sitting there too, waiting. You can see there, only takes a little step right behind the ball. Nice serve straight into the body. Just to claim those two points and put the pressure back on. 12. Great coverage from Hatchinoff. Hit and that ends the match. Two matches in one. Karen Hatchinoff, way too good in the first one. Six love, six love, a real contest in the third. But he's through to the quarters and he joins an exclusive club. One of very few men to play in all four Grand Slams in the last eight.